Oh. Hey y'all. Um it's been a long day. Um as it relates to the last video I put out yesterday, the doctor did call me to cancel my appointment. Um she rescheduled it for the nurse called me. She rescheduled it for March. Um I talk about that maybe tomorrow. And I have about three visions that I haven't, that I had a vision today and I had a open, I had two open visions back to back and I think I know what they relate to. And I realized that another open vision that I never put out, I got confirmation, the second confirmation of what it was. So I'll put them out. Aside from those three that I haven't put out, um, I've seen probably five or six visions or dreams come to pass today. And I've been trying to make a list of stuff. You guys, before I can even blink, um, there's something new happening. And I'm still wanting to finish putting out the, the last two parts of the dream that I had on Sunday. You guys, things are happening so fast um, that I can't keep up. And I feel, I don't want to say it anxiousness, but I just feel like time is, there is no time. There's not enough time in a day. Okay? I, I, I don't know how to explain it. Um... I just don't know how to explain it. I've, I've never had so many things happen prophetically. I've never gotten prophecy so fast to the point where I can't keep up. And I've been feeling like that for the last couple of months. But this week, I just, I, I don't know. It's unexplainable to me. So... We'll see if I can get it out. Um, I, I can think of at least 10 videos that, you know, of prophecy. This probably come out just in the past five days, but I've seen about five visions, open visions, or <sighs> dreams come to pass in just like the last, you know, I've gotten the confirmations on what they are. Um, or more confirmations. It, I can't. It's too much, you guys. Um, that's how big God is. Okay? I could never. I could never. I could never. It would. I, I could never. Ever complete. I could attempt. But I, I don't. I could never complete everything he's ever given me to present to you guys. I could never. I could attempt while we're shut in, but time is winding up, and God is so big. Um, he's just so big, um, bigger than my pea little brain. Okay, just real quick. I watched half of Pastor Tim's video, and I couldn't. He's just uh. He's just emotional, and I understand what that feel, that feeling is. Um, I'm not an emotional person, but let me tell y'all. Somewhere in the uh, in the, I had about six attempts to make three videos on yesterday, and when I was making the first one. I, I, I feel like I started to explain this, you guys. When I was looking up and researching, you know, because I could have put out the rapture part first. And there's still another element of rapture. There's an element of rapture and there's an element of judgment, I believe, to Israel. Um, Jacob's trouble, if you want to call it that. In the next two parts. Um, 
I could have put those out first, but I felt it was important to put out the importance of Jesus being the one and only uh, sacrificial lamb for us. When I was doing the research, you guys, and I was researching the significance of the brazen altar and the significance of all the different offerings and how Jesus alone bore all those different sins, the sins of the world. Something hit me like a ton of bricks. Okay, I felt a grieving. Okay, um, I felt a grieving that I don't think I felt since I like in at least 10 years. I felt a, such a deep sorrow, um, not only for the anguish that, that Jesus might should have, not should have, for the anguish and the wrath, just the magnitude of him getting the wrath of God poured on him. It, 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 man, it about, it about took me out in here. Okay? And... Not only that, the, the uh, sorrow, the burden for the souls of the people um, who may not have accepted Christ, the Judaizers, or even the Pharisees, those who believe that they're saved by their own works. When I started going into part two of the video, it just made me sicker. I've talked about this, you guys. Every time I have to teach a, a, a heretical teaching, the Lord had led me to do a lot of teachings on different things I have never, ever heard in my life. Never heard of such things. But when he led me to do them, I did those videos. And every time I did it, I just felt sick. But this last time, man, just... Digging through the scriptures and looking at the significance of how the blood was on the brazen altar always because of the the, the sacrifice of the animals and how um, the 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 altar was always continuously burning, um, uh, God's consuming fire. It it just whew, uh. Uh, I mentioned in one of those videos, I feel like uh, I heard Robert Breaker talk about how we say, you know, we get baptized in Holy Spirit and fire. How he uh, he actually said that, you know, being baptized in the fire is actually not a good thing. And when I was researching, this, uh, this is probably like two months ago when I watched this particular video. Um, people, he was saying how people just misuse that. Um not knowing but it's God who is capable of baptizing you in his Holy Spirit or his fire he's the judge I just feel like I've had I've had the Lord jump me before you guys I doing something I had no business and I this is a couple of years ago and I came home and I said oh I had my Bible out on my bed you guys I'll never forget it I had my Bible out, and I, I want. I was like, "Oh well, let me just finish reading what I was had read." <laughs> Started reading. I opened up the Bible, you guys, and I felt like the Lord <sighs> shook me like this, like mm. he gave me like a jerk in my spirit, like no. You just did something you weren't supposed to be doing. You'll come back and read my word. 
and the place of where I stopped out off at was uh, the very thing that I should not have been doing. Okay? I felt like the Lord sh shook me to the point where I could have... Uh, I felt like my heart could have uh, been stopped. He had showed me that he had the power to... He could have stopped my heart right then if he wanted to. Guys, he never had to worry about me uh, <laughs> doing it again. And it was different. I felt I've had, um, I don't know, I've gotten prophecy. Like that one time I had, I gotten, I don't know, I can't, I don't know if you can call it a vision, but I felt the shaking in my spirit of a major earthquake. And I don't know how to describe that, you guys, but I did make a video of it. And the next day, they had a major earthquake in Japan. And my niece is there. So, um, I was concerned because it was such a, a major earthquake. And I felt the warning of that earthquake. I don't know how to explain how, I don't even know how I explained it in the video. I I just you guys Lord is all powerful and um surely he's capable of chastising some people are so hard headed and so walking in their flesh to 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 think that they can usurp God and I don't know how how that's possible if you indwell the Holy Spirit. Um, surely he showed me that he could bring me to my knees. Okay. Um, not just in discipline and chastisement, but just to have even a, a 1% of the godly sorrow and the burden for souls. I kind of felt this when Tim was talking about this. I couldn't, I couldn't, because I felt... I felt very similar to how he was in that in that video. I felt very similar to that on yesterday. Surely God loves all his creation, but we're not all God's children until we accept his son as savior. And I don't to, to the heart of God, I just you guys, I just felt the disrespect when I got to the part of uh, the Pharisees and the specks in the eyes. Uh, when I was researching that, you guys, I just really, I just, I really felt the this like, I felt the disrespect towards the Lord, and I don't know how else to, to, to. I felt like they they crucify him afresh. I felt, I felt that burden. I felt that 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 I just I felt that on yesterday, you guys, and it took it 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 wore me out. Um, and it wasn't. It, I can't say it wasn't important uh, for me to share that because I did attempt to share it in a previous video but um it got cut out <clears throat> and by the time i remade the videos i just wanted to make sure that the information um and the scriptures that i was putting out was correct because i tell you what man i don't know how people who teach these heresies and who think that they can get to heaven on their own merit uh, I, I don't see how they don't grieve the Holy Spirit by which they claim to be sealed by. Because if you're sealed by the Holy Spirit and you feel some of the stuff that he allows you to feel, the, the sorrow, the grief, the burden for souls, there's no way that you could ever think in your mind that he would ever leave you or forsake you. Okay. Um, I find joy even in the fact of chastisement, because I know I'm not a bastard, if that's if that's what I feel. And surely he's powerful enough 
to chastise his children. So to for people, you know, I said I'm not going to get into this, but for people to um, to to accuse and point fingers and you don't have enough holiness and you don't have enough righteousness, the Lord's going to jump them. I really, I know a lot of people getting jumped by the Lord right now. <laughs> and he's wanting them to uh, be more bold. He's wanting them to be more courageous. He's wanting them to speak um, about the faith. You know, it's not, you know, it's not a bad thing. He's convict. He convicts us unto righteousness. He does not damn us to hell. There's no condemnation in us. Okay. He convicts you to, into righteousness. When he, he, when I thought I was uh, being slick, and I just, you know, I didn't think about it. I just opened up my Bible because my Bible is still here in my bed. I just, you know, opened up my Bible and said, "Well, I'll just pick off, pick up where I left off." The Lord showed me that He could stop my heart if He wanted me, if He wanted to, to shake me up and wake me up. So, um, these people that claim they got the Holy Spirit, ain't no way. I ain't no way. I can't say ain't no way, but, um, I, I, they need to get back to the simplicity of the gospel. I, I was researching the simplicity of the gospel, and it still almost took me out on yesterday. You guys, it's time to go home, and I just real, I feel real bad for people, man. Either the Lord's going to jump them, or um, a lot of people are going to be left behind. That thing really shook me up yesterday, man, so I, I can feel Pastor Tim's heart. Um, I, I'm not going to tell you about the video. You go watch it for yourself. Okay, good night, you guys. I'm going to get some rest. I haven't been really sleeping, but I've been up watching. <laughs> watching for Jesus, okay? Um, not anxious, but not really able to really rest, okay? And I'm not talking about resting in the Lord. I'm just talking about I feel an urgency, okay? I just feel an urgency of something. Um, to come, I don't want to disregard it. I am just, I am studying, I am studying, but it's an urgency, okay? It's like I'm the watchman on the wall, just looking, okay? I don't know what it is, but I just don't get any sleep. And I mean, I'm not really tired, but I am kind of tired, but, you know, it just doesn't bother me. Because I know soon and very soon we will have eternal rest. Okay? Um, and the Lord's keeping me. Alright, you guys? It ain't no time to sleep spiritually. It's time to stay woke. Okay, you guys? God bless y'all. Don't watch too much of the news either. I didn't watch, watch much of the news today. Um, I have watched a few videos, but you guys just keep a, a healthy balance and keep your eyes on Jesus in these last and evil days. Okay, you guys, good night.